this was not going to end well i was going to be staying in this vicious cycle and i was just worried for myself yeah sit back and enjoy this one because i'm going to tell you and i'm going to share with you where i felt my lowest and what the main component of that was contributing to me feeling really at my lowest at my darkest times at my times where i felt a complete no self-worth and um i want to share with you why i believe wearing joggers and sweatpants is a contributing factor to making you as a woman feel just not beautiful and i honestly can just go from my experience here but Honestly, there was a point in my life and I was feeling really, really low. And I'm talking the darkest place that I've ever been. I would wake up every day and I would have a depressive uniform on. Yes, I had a depressed uniform. And that depressed uniform was literally the same outfit every single day. It was going to my closet, grabbing some sweatpants, some joggers putting them on with just any old t-shirt, baggy t-shirt or a hoodie and some sweatpants and that was it. That was my uniform every single day when I was at my lowest, at my darkest point and all I can say is that I really believe that me wearing joggers and sweatpants every single day made me, I didn't even realise this at the time, but was making me more depressed every single day. And I got myself into a vicious circle of just going to the closet, grabbing the joggers, putting them on. It was minimum effort, it was low effort. I had low effort about myself. That's what it's telling me. Now I can look at it, now I'm not in that place. I can look back at that place and I can remember I just did not care. I did not care what I was wearing. And I, at the time, I didn't even think it was a it was a big thing, you know? I did not even correlate that maybe the clothes I'm wearing every day is contributing to how I'm feeling and my mood. And when you're in a moment, you're going through a heartbreak. I was going through many different things. Um, on top of that and everything just seemed to be crashing down at one point and honestly it was the, the darkest period of my time in, in my in my life and honestly like anyone out there that's listening you may be going through a heartbreak you may be going through a really dark period of your life um and you, you just feel completely low and I'm specifically speaking to women here that are feeling this or going through this and I want to let you know that you will come out of this, okay? This dark cloud, that this just heaviness, this just hopelessness. It feels like hopelessness when you're at the bottom. It feels like you will not be able to escape this feeling. But I want to let you know, women, that I honestly believe that the clothes that you wear will contribute to how quickly you come out of this feeling of feeling completely um, lost and completely just hopelessness and I honestly want every woman to know that if you are going through a heartbreak in the darkest period of your life right now and you just feel like this is never going to end can I just give you the one tip that I would give you right now is if you are wearing sweatpants or if you're wearing joggers please ladies I would love for you just to remove all of those joggers. Do not wear them. Just try it. Don't wear those joggers. Just don't wear them. See how you start to feel. Because I was wearing joggers every single day. And what happens is when you're wearing joggers every single day as a woman, you're basically, your mind, okay, is believing and is feeling the association of what joggers are. Joggers are clothes that you wear 
when you want to be cosy. I wear it when I'm at that time of the month. I wear joggers when I just, I don't feel good about myself and I just want to feel, just going to curl up in a ball and I just want to feel cosy and that's when I wear joggers. And I'm telling you, joggers for me are associated with just, just feeling cosy. It, it's just really low effort. It will put you in your masculine energy wearing joggers every single day. Um, it has, joggers really don't have any association with being feminine and um, embracing your femininity and your beauty as a woman. And I can understand why you want to go and pick up those joggers every single day. I get it. I used to be that girl. I used to be that one. And I totally understand it because, yeah, they can look stylish, but you've got to remember and they are very comfy. But you've got to understand, especially if you are in a going through a period of your life where you're feeling really low, women, please go to that closet right now and promise yourself tomorrow I am not going to put those joggers on. No. Can I tell you what completely changed my life and my way of thinking? And I, I knew I was going down a path that if I don't change something now, I'm, I'm genuinely worried for myself at this point because I had never felt this low in my life. And I was gen, genuinely worried for myself because I've always been a very strong, strong kind of um, mentally even strong and you know so I, I I just never thought I'd feel this this low and I thought oh my god what what the hell what the hell can I do what the hell can I do at this point I need to make a change I decided I don't know what came over me I really don't know what came over me that day. I just knew I'd got to the very bottom of the very bottom. And I knew that day that I needed to change something. Otherwise, this was not going to end well. I was going to be staying in this vicious cycle. And I was just worried for myself. I decided the next day, I've always been interested in fashion and everything. And I thought, you need to do something here to get back to the old you a little bit. So I decided the next day I am not going to wear joggers because I knew I'd get get up every day, just wear this uniform and no, I'm not going to do it anymore. It's just, no, I wouldn't even wear makeup. I would be wearing joggers every day. So the next day I got up, I went to the closet, the wardrobe and I literally decided that day, I think, I don't know what it is. I put some tight jeans on and I put a really nice top on I did my makeup that day. I put my, you know, I did my earring, everything. I did, I, I made myself up to the, you know, even more than I would usually do. And let me tell you, that was the best decision that I ever made was to not wear the joggers and to swap my joggers for jeans or a dress or a skirt. It was the best decision I'd ever made. From that day on, I had motivation like I'd never had motivation. And I want any woman out there that is feeling really low right now to understand that a simple thing such as not wearing joggers can literally shift your mindset and psychologically shift how you feel about yourself. And it's amazing. And there's actually studies to back this up, okay, which I'm going to come on to later. And yeah, so the next day I I decided I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to wear this depressive uniform of joggers and a baggy t-shirt anymore. No, I need to understand that whatever I'm going through, I'm going through, but I'm not going to completely let myself go anymore. I'm not doing this to myself because it's literally like I'm punishing myself. And it's so hard when you feel so low to 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 just muster up anything. It's just the motivation. And honestly, I that was the easiest thing I could think of was just do not wear the joggers and you're going to feel better. I did it. And trust me, women, please try it. If you are so low right now, and you've got to the lowest point of where you are. Women, please, just do this one thing for me. Go to your closet and get rid of those joggers. And just the next day, wake up and just put some jeans on, put a skirt on, put a dress on. 
just just try it please and see how you feel and I'm telling you you will start day by day starting feeling better because that was me day by day I started to feel better about myself that first day I got up I did something more than I did any other day and I'd been in this state for months feeling like this even I would even say like years to the point at this point and I woke up that day not wearing joggers and I immediately felt different and it's amazing how clothes can actually change and shift how you feel about yourself and even when you've got those clothes on and you're even if you're inside and you're dressed like for success you're dressed feminine you're dre- you feel better and it gives you a motivation it it gave me up that motivation that i needed so from that day on and then i i i thought okay i'm getting somewhere i'm doing something that's that's helping me get to a better place and yes the first couple of days i wouldn't i'm not going to say oh i just immediately felt better no but something had shifted in me when i decided to ditch the joggers and literally wear an outfit that made me feel like I'm dressed for success, I'm dressed in a feminine way, and a way that I just genuinely felt more like a woman and felt, oh, I'm I'm going somewhere. You know, I dressed, so I got up every day and I started dressing like I'm going somewhere. And ladies, women, it does something to your mind. It does, it shifts something, it really does. It really does. So from that day, I decided the next day, I am not even going to give myself the temptation of going back into my closet and putting the sweatpants on and joggers on. I'm just not going to do it because I never want to feel this feeling ever again of me feeling this low about myself. And all the joggers were doing, it was making me feel like my self-worth was like nothing. I felt ugly. I felt masculine. I didn't want to do my makeup. I was behaving in a masculine way. I don't know why the joggers and sweatpants and just that whole depressive outfit I had on was making me feel masculine. I did not feel like a woman. I did not feel beautiful. And clothes can really make you feel a different way. So that from that day onwards, I was like, I have a bad association now with these joggers. These joggers for me are associated for me being lazy it requires no effort from me it really doesn't give me any femininity which is very important for a woman to feel that i feel masculine i feel like a guy and yeah it did nothing for me it did not scream it just screamed cozy and that was it low effort and i decided that no i can't even have the temptation because i will easily just go back in there and I'll just put the sweatpants on and the joggers back on. I'll do it because it's so easy to do. And so I got a bag that day. I put all my sweatpants in. And I, let me tell you, I used to be a sweatpant jogger girl, okay? Every day, that was me. I got all the sweatpants, all the joggers, and I put them in a bag and they went to charity. And I got rid of them all. I got rid of them. And then it didn't st- stop there. I went through my whole closet. It didn't. It started with the joggers. And then I just got rid of any item of clothing that I had an association with that made me feel ugly, made me feel bad, didn't make me feel beautiful, didn't make me feel feminine. I got rid of all those clothes. Because you will have, women, you will have clothes in your closets right now. You will have clothes in your closet that some items of those clothes they won't make you feel beautiful. And you know which clothes they are. And I really encourage women right now, if you're feeling just ugh about yourself in a really low, depressive mood and you just wanna change this right now, please start with your closet. First, ditch the joggers. Stop wearing joggers. They're just gonna make you feel you're masculine and they're not gonna make you feel beautiful. And they're not going to make you productive, feel good about yourself. Then you're just, they're not. Based on my experience, I really don't think, when I think about joggers, I don't associate that with being feminine, feeling beautiful, and just feeling in your power as a woman. 
And that's why clothes are so important, you know, to how we feel. So women, please go into your closet right now and any item of clothing that you have there that has an association with an ex, just a bad memory, a a bad point in your life, and you remember that time and you're wearing that, please get a bag right now and just remove every item of it, like savage mode. Remove all those clothes the items get them rid of them get rid of all that bad energy get rid of the, all those associations because the next time you put that piece of clothing on that item all it's going to do is it's going to associate you with a time in your life where you don't feel good about yourself or it could potentially bring up memories and you don't want to be wearing that on yourself you want to be shifting your mindset into a completely new version of yourself and this is why I say go into your closet get rid of that it's for you now to start and be the woman the new version of this woman that you know you can be and yeah okay you've got to the bottom you're at the maybe you're at the bottom right now and you feel like crap yeah I've been there and I'm telling you wearing joggers every day baggy t-shirts baggy clothes and items that just make you feel masculine not in your feminine energy and just yeah easy low effort it has um an effect on everything else you do everything else you do so get a bag right now and get rid of them ladies i know it's maybe hard to to get rid of them because they are very easy and easy clothes to wear but please trust me when I say this this will be a shift in how you feel and there are studies that back this is a study it's called in clothed cognition and what it basically says is that it's a psychological phenomenon and it basically says that clothes have associations and symbolic meanings and actually clothes can actually shift and our mood and how we feel when we're wearing particular clothes so if we're wearing a particular clothing item it can actually change our mood and how we feel about ourselves but not only how we feel about ourselves it's how other people perceive us as well so it's really important to understand that there's a bigger story behind this there's actually science and studies that back this that if you wear certain clothes certain clothes will have the ability to psychologically shift your mood so that's why I honestly believe that when I was wearing joggers every day and I was feeling really depressed it makes sense now it makes sense because every day I was waking up and giving low effort I was literally just grabbing that's it done done didn't do my makeup didn't do nothing else then that day I woke up and I decided I'm not doing this anymore. And I put, I think it was, I put some tight high-waisted jeans on, a really nice blouse. And I put, I even put shoes on everything. I did the whole thing. And I started walking differently. I started, my shoulders started, even though I was still feeling, yeah, I was still feeling bad. But I, I felt also my shoulders were back. My, my head had raised a little bit. I put some makeup on. It was the first time in a long time that I put makeup on. And I was actually looking at myself like, okay, okay, I, we can get there. We, there's, there's a glimmer of hope now. So when you have literally no hope and you're at the bits, when you literally have no hope and, and you're at the bottom of the bottom and you can't see how this is going to get any better, And then a day, just by changing your clothes and putting some makeup on, you see a glimmer of hope. That was the moment I was like, I, clothes are powerful. And now that I'm in a completely different place from where I was, I understand the power that clothing has and how it can affect your mood. And women, this is why we have to be very conscious of what clothes we wear and what associations and symbolic meanings that these clothes have, you know? So just ask yourself, when you felt depressed or if you are feeling really low or 
it, think about a time when you felt really low in your life you're going through a heartbreak you're going through family stuff you're going through we you know stuff happens work stuff life, life happens think right now about the time that you felt so low this this could be in the present moment that you feel really low about yourself and then ask yourself what are you wearing what are you wearing every day so women if you're feeling really low right now you're in a really bad place go to the mirror and look at yourself and have a look at what you're wearing every day if they are joggers if they are baggy items if they are things like this and you just feel hopeless and you don't know what to do my advice and from my experience is that please ditch the joggers and just try it see how you feel go and put a nice dress on go and put a nice skirt nice skirt on a nice dress go and do your makeup but it starts with ditching the joggers it really does and just see how you feel start honestly see how you feel and the reason I'm so passionate about this because I know it works because I was in a super horrible place dark 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 place and I had no hope I had, I had nothing. I, I, I literally had no hope. I, I was like, I know this is not who I am. I have no motivation to do anything. What the hell am I going to do? And all I had was clothes that I could think at that time. And then I decided, yes, let me get rid of these joggers. Cause, and I, and that, was, that was my, that was the number one thing that helped me get on the path to literally changing my whole shift, mood, everything was, I managed to do that in one day and that was just literally changing the clothes I was wearing and specifically joggers. I ditched them, ditch, ladies, ditch those joggers. They will do nothing for you. If you're in a really low mood, they will do nothing for you. And I just refuse to wear joggers now. I refuse to wear joggers. I refuse to, the only time I wear joggers is when it's that time of the month, okay? But I refuse to wear joggers. I will never ever step out wearing joggers or sweatpants. I refuse to do it because I associate that with really depressive times in my life. I associate it with just low effort. I associate joggers with just, just coziness, but also depressiveness when I was feeling bad. I associate it with just bad memories. And I know that if I get in the habit of wearing joggers and sweatpants every day, I know myself that I could potentially go back to feeling depressed again or go back to feeling really unproductive and just feeling comfortable. And, you know, as a woman, you know, I honestly believe there's so much we have as women and I believe that our femininity is something so special as women and to be able to embrace that is just a blessing to do every day you know to be able to wear some clothing that makes you feel great makes you hug your body nicely accentuates your 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 figure and you will go to the mirror and you will start looking at yourself thinking wait a minute, I'm not wearing these baggy clothes. I actually have a nice figure or I actually look quite nice in this. And honestly, you just will start feeling better about yourself. As as a woman, I really do believe that. So I, I encourage all women. I know it might be drastic for some, but I encourage all women to get rid of your sweatpants. Get rid of them all. Go to your closet right now and get rid of them and see how you, you start moving differently see how you start walking differently see how you start just talking differently holding yourself differently you know when you wear heels and stuff like that that's why I try and wear heels as much as possible as well because when I wear heels I feel different you know but you'll never see me in joggers ever again I refuse to do it I refuse to enter into that 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 world again and this is from someone that used to wear joggers every single day so I get the girls that just like no I can never not abandon my joggers but I honestly want women to know that it will 
you will start looking at yourself, you will start holding yourself differently just by changing the outfit, you know? And and the reason why I'm focusing on joggers specifically is because, you know, a lot of women wear them and I don't think women understand as as how powerful it is that that clothes have and to how we feel. And that's why I'm going back to that study of in clothed cognition. You can you can um you can learn more about in clothed cognition and it's really they did studies on this and it really is a powerful um study. It really highlights that certain clothes have certain symbolic associations and meanings. And when we wear certain clothes we will feel different in those clothes if you were to wear a uh, I don't know a wedding dress you're gonna feel you're gonna feel different you're gonna feel like love you're gonna feel um like a like a princess you know if you're wearing joggers that's not gonna make you feel like that you know so I just want you women to understand that you don't if you're feeling really low start with ditching the joggers start it if you're in a heartbreak right now don't wear joggers during your heartbreak i want you to go through your heartbreak like it's your glow up dress like it's your glow up right now if you are in a a really bad heartbreak dress like oh i'm in my glow up even if you don't feel like your glow up and you feel like crying every day get up every morning and dress like you're having the biggest glow up of your life and it will trick your mind it will it will trick your your mind your subconscious mind to believing that actually maybe she's having a glow up even though you don't feel like you are you are reprogramming your mind and telling them by the actions you're doing the conscious choices that you're making you're reprogramming your subconscious mind to believe I'm having a glow up even though you don't feel like you are you can just fake it sometimes you have to fake it to feel it you know and um yeah so if you're in a heartbreak dress like you're going through a glow up if you're feeling really bad in your lowest point of your life women do not wear joggers that will make you feel worse wear something that you're about to go somewhere and meet the man of your dreams you're gonna go and meet I don't know for me it'd be like okay I'm gonna go meet Leonardo DiCaprio or something you know I'm dressing up nice <laughs> even though I'm crying <laughs> I, I I'm acting like you know your clothes are will shift you into a mood this is my point certain clothes will make you feel and can uplift your mood and all I can go by is my experience that this happened to me I was feeling low I decided no the joggers have got to go the next day I was feeling you know I can do this day by day and then that's how it started and that kick-started me just to that was it and then everything got better because every day I made the conscious decision to get up every day and look good and it wasn't for anyone else it was for myself it was for my self-worth it was for me to feel good about myself you know I had no one I was not dressing for no one no one saw me I was in quarantine I was literally dressing up to stay in the house you know and I did this because I knew that if I carried on down this path I could easily get into a deep deep depression and I was not going to allow that for myself you know and I don't want that to happen for you women as well and women trust me you don't need to get yourself to a point of deeper and deeper and deeper I want to let you know that there is another way and I've been there okay I have felt that low point and it's not a great feeling okay and you do feel like what the hell am I going to do it feels really hopeless okay and someone that's come out from the other end of it I can now look back and say the the one thing that helped me kickstart this was I just did not wear those joggers as much as I wanted to I got rid of them the only pair of joggers I had was one pair that I wore around the time of my month that was it and still to this day I refuse to leave the house with joggers or sweatpants 
because it did not make me feel feminine. It did not make me feel like a woman. It made me feel masculine. And I know that if I wear joggers, I'm less productive. I know when I wear joggers, I feel more lazy. I know when I wear joggers, I don't feel as beautiful as when I put a really nice outfit together. I know it. When I put a really nice outfit together, and, and like you, you guys, when you guys put a nice outfit together, and you've got heels on, and you know, you feel better. You do. You feel better. You feel more beautiful. And that's why clothes are powerful. And yeah, and studies have backed this as well. So it's, it's not just an experience that I'm having. It's science, psychological um, studies have backed this up to, to highlight the theory that, you know, clothes do improve your mood and also the perception of what other people think about you. And as women, I want you to go through this life. And unfortunately, we do live in a society where people make judgments of us. So if we're leaving the house in um, sweatpants, baggy stuff, you know, expect people to just overlook you. Expect that because expect people maybe to think she's going through something right now. You know, because what it screams out is that you don't care. And I didn't care when I was wearing joggers every day. I didn't. It was the easiest thing I could do to put together. And yes, you can make them look good, but it's the it's the process of it all and it's just the ease of it I just don't think joggers are a good item of clothing to have for women and um it's just about I want women to really feel good I don't want you women you ladies to be in a place that I was and all I can go by is how I feel now I I make sure every day I have my nails done because when I don't have my nails done I feel just I have my nails done, I get up every morning, I do a little bit of mascara here, there, I'll I'll put like an outfit on that which is like nice fitting for my body, I will not wear baggy clothes because that will do, that does nothing for me, it makes me feel masculine and I'll put, always put some accessories on, I didn't realise the importance of accessories as well, it's, and it's just a, a habit now of mine and you know, I, it, it, I don't even need to be going anywhere. I just do it for myself. I make sure I get up every day because I know once I do that and I'm in the morning, I'm dressed up and I am I feel like I'm ready to take on this day and I feel more productive, I feel more beautiful and I am sending out a signal to other people as well say, I am ready. This is how I want you to perceive me as the woman I want to be. This is who I am. And unfortunately, we live in a society where people do perceive us in a certain way based on our clothing and they have seven seconds to judge us. And unfortunately, that's just society. And I don't want to live my life at the end of it and just be like, oh, yeah, I went through the best years of my life wearing joggers because I spent a lot of my 20s just wearing joggers. And I want you women out there to really embrace that femininity because it is something so beautiful and it will make you feel so great about yourself and any woman out there that feels low right now I don't care you can be a mother you could be um low right now just you know just going through a heartbreak it doesn't matter even mothers okay I know it might be easy just to put the joggers on get the kids going blah 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 but trust me even as a mother I will, I hope to be a mother one day. I don't know, I'm running out of time, but even as a mother, I will refuse to wear joggers. I will. I will, because I know how that made me feel. Um, and the association I have with joggers, so yeah. So from this, ladies, if you're feeling low, it's not the end of the world. You're going to be able to get out of it. If I can get out of it, you can get out of it. And I'm telling you that one way to do this is ditch the joggers. Stop wearing baggy clothes, joggers every day. If you're feeling really low about yourself, I want you to get up tomorrow. If you're feeling low, women, get up tomorrow. Do not wear joggers. Do not wear baggy clothes. I want you to get up, put a dress on, put a skirt on, put some makeup on. Even if you're not going anywhere, do it for yourself. And you will, every day, you will start feeling better. And I want you to do it every day. 
get up even if you're feeling the worst you've ever felt I want you to get up and I want you to put a nice outfit on because it will trick your subconscious mind to believe that something else is happening and you will start your mind will just naturally start shifting into feeling better it happened to me and trust me it will happen to you okay and yeah get rid of them all get rid of all the clothes that give you bad energy all the clothes that give you bad memories get rid of the clothes that from your ex get rid of them get rid of them all because they all have associations with memories and every time you wear it every time you wear a bracelet every time you wear this piece of clothing it's going to remind you of that time just like a song does you listen to a song it can remind you of a certain period of time clothes have the same effect it had the same effect for me okay i just want to let you know women that you are so beautiful you have so much to offer and if you're in a low place like i was you are going to get out of this okay and you're going to start with ditching the joggers and you're going to get rid of them all send them off to charity because you are now it's time we're not doing this anymore it's time you're going to be the new version of yourself and you're going to glow up even in your darkest periods and you are just going to make these small steps and the start with just changing your clothes and see how you feel okay and then we just take it day by day but trust me try it see how you feel and I guarantee you I really 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 do because I I believe that women we're very intuitive and we feel kind of similar in terms of maybe we'll, we may not have the exact same experience but I'm sure we went through different same feelings of when we're feeling low and I can guarantee you that changing your clothes and ditching those joggers you will start to feel better about yourself put a bit of mascara on even if you don't want to ditch the joggers and start wearing clothes that you would be you know feeling like yeah I can go out on this and I feel nice you know and watch it get better okay because the path of just wearing joggers and baggy things and just every day and just doing that no don't, I don't want you to stay in that period for a long period of time because it's not good for your soul. It's not good for your soul, okay? I want you to get up and start just moving. That's all you need to do is start moving, okay? Yeah, you may not be healed straight away, but just start with that. Start just, you're making one action. If you do this, just ditch the joggers and wear a different outfit. Feel proud of yourself. I know it may be just a small, small change, but feel proud of yourself that you have made this you've made a conscious decision then you even in your lowest period have made a conscious decision that actually I'm not going to wear joggers on a baggy thing today I'm going to get up put my makeup on I'm going to wear an outfit that you know even if I feel bad I'm going to consciously do this because watch and watch and watch just keep doing it every day even if you're feeling bad do it every day and yeah I just want to share that experience because I know how it feels feeling at the bottom and I would never want to experience it again. That's why I refuse to wear joggers ever again because I know how I felt during that time and um, I would never feel like that again. And that's why it's so important to me to wear feminine clothes, put my earrings on, get my nails done and you deserve it as a woman. You deserve it. And um, yeah, Whew, sorry I got very passionate about that because I just I'm I'm not even going to cry about it because I don't even like to think about it too much because it's really painful experience for me of that time period and um yeah um so I'm just a completely different person um version of myself and so I can look back at it now and I can talk about it in a in a way that I hope can at least help one other woman out there and if you've made it this far are you listening and I just want to let you know you're going to get through this period of time ditch the joggers see how you feel okay I love all you women you've got this keep going and yeah tomorrow is a new day and every day after that you will start becoming the new version of yourself okay okay have a lovely day this is the Nana journey you can check out my youtube as well and the podcast the Nana journey thank you so much Love you all.